Hi, this is Justice from Tablet Pro. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about which Surface Pro is the best for art. Now, I recently tested the Surface Pro 12 inch, uh, which is a bit of an annoying name. I'm not a fan. I get that it's important that they delineated that it's smaller. It is smaller. So the Surface Pro 7, 7 Plus, 6, 5, 4, uh, were all, I think, the same size. So it's 12.3 inches. The 12 inch one is 12 inches. It has a lower PPI and it has um, less resolution on the screen. And it's a slightly different shape. I like the shape and size of the Surface Pro 12 inch. Now, from the Surface Pro 8 and on, they've been using this build here. This is the Surface Pro 11. This is the ARM variant, the 10 core one. This is fantastic for artwork the stylus the slim pen 2 is uh probably the best windows uh drawing experience that you can get uh it's akin to a wacom pen granted you don't have rotation in the barrel so you can't spin it and get it to do something uh, with the brush and various programs not all programs just a handful of those uh, support that uh, like rebel and um Photoshop and Clip Studio, I think, all support barrel rotation. Okay, so this device, this is ARM. In the past, that's been a bit of a kerfuffle for um, artists. That's not even the right way to use that word, but I'm keeping it. So <laughs> there's uh, been some controversy on the ARM processor and uh, different drawing programs compatibility. Uh, this works fine. Now, it, it might be slightly slow, but um, most of the time it's barely noticeable. If you have the uh, Elite processor, uh, you're going to be fine for most situations unless you've got a massive uh, program. If you're drawing, you should be okay. Uh, I can use this for editing in DaVinci Resolve, by the way, which didn't used to work in the past on ARM. Uh, now, <clears throat> the Surface Pro 8 and greater uses the slim pen 2 and it uses new technology the new technology in the digitizer is amazing the surface pro 7 7 plus and younger older earlier those devices have a different digitizer in it and it seems that that is the same one that they put into the surface pro 12 inch i'll need to do some more testing i'll show some video here that i took uh, with a unit uh, over at Best Buy. You can see the two devices side by side and also see the uh, drawing uh, experience side by side. It's a noticeable difference. It's not going to be the worst thing you've ever used, but it is different. Now, it's important to note this device right here, this is a um, 120 hertz screen. The Surface Pro 12 inch is a 90 hertz screen and the Surface Pro 7 is a 60 hertz screen. Uh, I think there's actually a pretty significant difference when you're drawing on a higher refresh device. It feels buttery smooth and excellent when you are on a, a 60 hertz screen and the processor is doing great holding up, then it's, it's also pretty nice, but it's nice to have that extra smoothness there. Now, another thing that I'll mention the battery life on these devices and the price on these devices. If you're looking for something that's really uh, affordable, the Surface Pro 12 inch starts out lower. If you get a keyboard, then the price jumps very quickly. The Surface Pro 11 that I have right here, this one, the keyboard combo was something close to 250 and uh, the stylus is a hundred dollars. Uh, so it's a bit of a, uh, jump. This one is the Bluetooth keyboard, which means that I can actually detach it, which I use all the time in my car. I mount this with this magnetic ring. I mount this to my steering wheel when I'm driving on the freeway so I can get some good work done. Just kidding. I do that only when I'm parked. Haha. -ha. This stylus on the Surface Pro 11. This one goes right here in the keyboard. Most of you already know this. It charges here. It charges on the back on the surface pro 12 inch which i think is just fine um, as far as having a mobile device for me it although i like the size of the 12 inch surface pro um, better it's only nominally smaller um, 
but it is if i were if i were going back and starting over would i pick the 12 inch one uh, absolutely not i would not uh, i would probably try and get any version of the intel surface pro 11 the business variant would be my first choice and i would shoot for oled uh, versus the lcd although I, I really don't have any issue with the lcd but the oled one is brighter so if i'm using this uh, somewhere outdoors that would be my choice uh, recently i have switched recently i have switched to using the ink devices outdoors because it's a little less distracting and if i'm if i'm drawing it's it's really nice to have uh, outdoors it's more of a sketching experience than an actual painting experience but it's still good uh, this one is the ai paper ai paper <laughs> this one is the v woods ai paper it has an excellent drawing feel uh, however they're missing a couple tools uh, for drawing right now at the moment i recommend the nomad and the manta uh, those are great devices all right, so 12 inch is not recommended uh, for art if you're doing art, um, unless you absolutely need something s slightly smaller. Uh, Intel one is great, probably the best choice. It is more expensive, but you could probably find a used one. Uh, the ARM variant, I think, will work for almost everything that you want to do as well, and the battery life is phenomenal. Battery life for the Intel one is also very good. But should you switch to the Surface Pro 11, I would 100% recommend that you get the Surface Pro 11 over the Surface Pro 12 inch if you're an artist. For those of you who are wondering, I am not in a seaside cafe at the moment. I'll link to this video in the description as well. Just a beautiful background. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed, I have lots of good content coming up.